next called Bamboozle. We've been touring the holiday parks and theatres now for about eight years. Long time. Uh, it is a long time and we're <laughs> looking very tired on it. I'm the glamour assistant. I'm the one who gets in the boxes and does all the hard work. So she'd have you believe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Mark calls me his ta-da girl because I come out of the box and go, ta-da. So I'm a ta-da girl. We first met at a holiday park in South Wales. I actually said to Cheryl, can you get in my box? And I said, if you can get in the box, you're in the act. And I did. You got in the box. I got in the box and now... Um... And you've been here ever since. Yeah. I fell in love with Cheryl because of the... the humour, the excitement, and just, just working well together, being well together, and having a best friend. I can imagine when we're 80 years old, well, you're going to be 90, but um, it, it just... <laughs> still making me laugh. It scares me, 90. 90. It does my scare me. I could be crying at the minute. I'm filling up myself. <laughs> <laughs> Our life at home is completely different to what we have here on stage. At stage, it's the glamour, the lights, the noise, the loudness, the audience. It's an act. It's an act. Yeah. But as soon as we go home, that's it. Peaceful, quiet. Tranquil. Back. Home is rural Somerset, where the couple share a small holding with their neighbours. Every day's a new experience. So we have kingfishers and owls. And where we used to live, you didn't get that. It was just an odd sparrow, and that was it. It's hard work while you're on the road, but it's nice when you get home. Come on then. Life seems pretty perfect for this couple, although they're keen to expand their act. I would love to have a baby now. I really want. I'm getting to that age where I'm getting broody and have... I don't know. I'd like children. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's what a lot of people want. You know, children are just the sort of finish to, to the marriage. After we've had a child, Mark wants to put it in the show, so a bit of an advantage, really, you know. Put it in a box. Yes, but, it, well, we would think about that. <laughs> but for the time being, there are more pressing matters to deal with. In particular, their wedding. The last sort of few weeks, it's, it's all becoming real, isn't it? All the planning has come together, you know, no, I'm getting... It's now... It's now very real. It's a bit real. real now. Very real. I'm going to be Mrs Herrick. Mm, yeah. But I'll still call it Hodgetts. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes, indeed, Sarah. I'm up here in the room, in a groom's room. It's probably a bad place for a man like me to be, if you know what I mean. Mark! Brendan. How are you? I'm very well, yes. Look at this, how modern. Mark is ironing his own shirt on the morning of his wedding. I know. It needed doing, and it's going to be the best one on the day. Do you always iron your own clothes, Mark? Well, honestly? Honestly. No, Cheryl does it. <laughs> so this is purely for live television. It is. It needs doing, and it's very creased, so hopefully... Uh, Hopefully by the time we've finished, it'll look spotless. Now, they don't get more lifestyle item than that, do we? We've just showed you how to iron a groom's shirt. It's fabulous here. Now, I have to say, I, I think you'll comment with how relaxed this man looks. You are so relaxed. I know. Give it three hours and it might not be. But at the moment, everything's cool. Everything's cool. I'm happy. I'm here. So we're really relaxed at the minute. He is so relaxed. I'm so impressed. It's actually unnerving me how relaxed he is. Maybe he's taken something. Few drinks. Anyway, he's got three hours to go. That's why he's so. Hard. So, how long has it been since you've been in London? It's been ten years. That's a long time, isn't it? Very, very, very long time. All the flags are out, so they knew you were coming. They knew. <laughs> <laughs> you've got some notes, haven't you? Dresses that you like and some ideas. I have. Oh, I see. So, some beading bodices. Because what we do for a living, it's all sparkly and yeah. all the sequins and things like that. I want to try and keep the theme in, because it's a magical day, and I want to yeah. keep the magic theme in there, so I want the bit of the sequins in there. And shape, are you quite open to sort of trying on different shapes? Yes, I am. I'm sometimes a bit wary of my arms. Right. Um, because they do get quite spotty, and I like to, I think, maybe cover them up or do something just to see So that's the area you're going to be most self-conscious about. Like, yeah. 
Dave's taking Cheryl to the wedding shop in exclusive Chelsea, one of London's top wedding dress salons and where anyone who's anyone goes for their designer wedding frocks. Now, welcome to Wedding World. Your face is a picture when suddenly <laughs> it's like here we are in the reality. I cannot believe the amount of dresses are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Somehow, you've got to start doing your editing process now. Jay's chosen three very different dresses for Cheryl to try out. First up is from British designer Fiona Clare. Now, when you look at yourself in this dress in the mirror, what do you feel? Honest opinion, I look like my mother. <laughs> it's an absolutely stunning dress, but I feel right. older in it. How do you feel about the sleeve situation? Do you like it now that's on? No. <laughs> Looking at it on, it doesn't look right. <laughs> right, OK. I think I feel probably a bit too encased in it. I yeah. want to be a bit more freer. Dress number two is more contemporary, and it's from American designer Ellie Saab. What do you think of this one? I think it's absolutely beautiful, because I, I love the neckline. I feel more open, oh. more free. I mean, it seems to give me a better a figure. Mm. It makes because you look your age, doesn't it? It's a bit more contemporary. It does, it does. But it's still not yeah. crying out. Now, you're in very good company wearing this dress, because it's a Vera Wang, and she's, of course, the designer who made dresses for both Victoria Beckham and J-Lo. Oh, so, you're looking so very confident and superstar yourself like at this. I star. Do you? <laughs> I wanted the sparkle to come yeah. down. It's just that sparkly effect. And veil? We still set on that? I would love to have a veil to go with the long train, because this doesn't quite have the long train. So we're almost there, really, aren't we? Because we know we want a bit of sparkle on the bodice. The we know we like the shape, but we want a longer a long train. A train. Yeah, and we're going to go for the veil. I think. But I think, looking around this room, I think I found the one. Hey, because I've noticed you <laughs> sort of glancing around. I wondered. But I don't want to try it just yet. OK, so we can try it secretly, but we're not going to reveal the perfect one until the big day. Come this way and I will give you the full treatment. OK, this is our collection. Right. Um, there's all different types of jacket. There's classical, there's contemporary, there's modern, fashionable. Obviously, you've got your, your three-quarter length jackets, which a lot of people are wearing at the moment. I think that'll make me look too short. I prefer, right. prefer something like the tail. The tails? Yes. Classical, yeah? In a black rather than grey? Yes, probably black. Probably black. Traditional? Yes. Black trousers or pinstripe trousers? The pinstripe are the classic, aren't they? That's correct. Yes. Possibly a fancy waistcoat? Yeah, waistcoat to blend in with the bridesmaids. I know we've said black. Oh, right. But that You could be persuaded into ivory. This is very David beckham -esque. It is. I like it. Yeah, you'd like it. But you're hesitating. I don't think... Cheryl would. I'm sure Cheryl wouldn't. I want to stop friends with Cheryl. I think we should try it. If a groom was to walk in on his own and to book his outfit, then I would say there's a 90% chance he'd be back to change his mind. If he came in with the boss, the bride, then I would say it's pretty certain what they choose on the day will be what they'll be getting on the day. This year's colour, this year's fashion is brown. Brown is a very, very big colour. If the styles have changed, it's more flamboyant. All colours now. Mint green is making a comeback. Blue jackets, powder blue jackets. There's no set outfit in this day and age. We've tried on a lot, yep. different colours, different styles, but I think we're going to go for the classic, for yep. the longevity of the marriage. OK, good. Mark and Phil, nice guys. I think they left the store very happy. Celebrity stylist Michael Douglas has honed his skills on the likes of Davina McCall and Ulrika Johnson, so Cheryl's hair is in good hands. So, Cheryl, a big day for you, big day for your hair. It is. What are your thoughts? Ideally, I'd love my hair up. You'd like it up? I'd you? love it up. The classic, elegant style. OK. My husband-to-be would love my hair to be down. Would he? He would. Is he just being awkward? Very. Yes, I can see that. What we'll do today is we'll try out maybe two or three different hairstyles, just as a bit of a compromise. Does that sound all, all right? That sounds perfect. 
After a quick wash and dry, Cheryl's ready for Grandma's favourite, heated rollers. They may look old-fashioned, but they'll give her hair the body and volume Michael needs to create all three styles. And we'll just take these rolls out very delicately, all right? Not pulling the hair too much, and just keep as much curl in it as possible for the time being. And then we'll start to break it with our fingers once we've got them all out. So we're just going to start at the bottom and start to break this up with our fingers a little bit. Never really would have take a brush to hair like this. Now those bigger rollers that we put on top of your hair will give a much, much softer curl through here and then the slightly tighter curlers we put through the side. You've got this slight feature here of this slight bulk. I mean, it's made from the rollers, but that's a perfect place really for a tiara.